Hi everyone, this is Miss Jackson, the school's occupational therapist. I hope everyone's doing okay. I miss everybody and hope to see you soon. I decided to send home an instructional video for um, some of the kiddos that get occupational therapy services. So hopefully um, you guys can do some of these things at home. I tried to think of materials you might have laying around the house. So hopefully this helps you in some way. Uh, this is my helper today. Reed. His name is Reed. He is happy to be with us. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with just some activities to help strengthen the hands. Yep. <laughs> um, before any writing activity uh, or things like that. Yep. So if anyone yep. has things like bubble wrap laying around the house, this is good for them. Yep. For finger opposition yep. to get their pointer and their thumb together to pop. Go ahead. Okay. You're trying to put a good butt. Good job. Okay. Yep, so a lot of the kids like the way this feels. They like uh, the sound of the pop. And that's really good for strengthening and getting those fingers together, which you need to use yeah. um, when you're writing with a pencil. Another activity that you probably have at home it's a piggy bank. Or yes, a, a piggy bank. Or a ball they could have. Right? Um, so for things like this, if you uh, take some coins out, we're going to be all done with this. Thank you. You can, <laughs> you're welcome, ask them to pick the coins up one by one to put in. Once they can do that, you're going to challenge them to pick up two. So you pick up one. I got two. Put it in your hand, good. Pick up another. Again, that works on digit opposition, bringing your fingers together, and in-hand manipulation it. skills. If you don't have a piggy bank, but you still have coins at home, um, any containers that you have lying around that you've used up, you can just cut a slit in the top to put the coins in there. His favorite, if you have a tennis ball, you can cut a slit in it, and it's the same thing. You squeeze the sides, the mouth opens. Give him the coins. Yeah. And in therapy at school, I usually draw some eyes on it and say things like, you know, feed the coin monster or things like that. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another good thing is you can have them hold it in their helper hand and then pick the coins up. And if it's too hard for them to squeeze, you can just give them a little help with your hand on top of theirs. Thanks, Mommy. You're welcome. Some other things you might have at home. Do you guys have any stickers at home? Um, it's good for them to peel off to get their fingers moving. Some other things you can do is you can actually place it on them and ask them to get it off. This also helps with crossing the midline. So you would put it, you know, if, you're, if you know your kid uses their right hand, you put it on the left side of their body. Okay. Ah. Stick it on the table. Okay, I'm going to put it on the table. Yep. You want to show how you peel one off? Uh-huh. Okay, use two hands. Two hands together. One hand to hold the paper. One hand to pull off. Do the ghost. Scary. These are our leftover Halloween stickers. Yeah, we like it. We like it. Very good. Woo! Okay. <laughs> So, um, oh, and one more thing, too. If you guys have squirt bottles, um, you know, if you've used up a cleaner, you can rinse it out, uh, just put water in it. Uh, one thing that's good is squeezing the trigger and squirting things. Um, so if you wanted to do something like that, besides, you know, squirting off the tub wall, if they have anything that they can draw on it with, like bathtub paint, they can help you water the flowers by squeezing. Go ahead. Good job. You'll need a towel because they'll make a mess. Thank you. <laughs> and then I usually try to do some of those activities before writing. Um, you know, of course, you can just use printer paper. I like printer paper, right? Yes, like crayons. Um, some of your kiddos do not like to use paper and crayons. You know, they need something else to help catch their attention. I like so that one. Yep, so if you guys have things like Ziploc bags, 
The same cream in it? Yes, you just squirt a little bit of shaving cream in it. Um, not much, because it actually does not take much at all. Except this one takes much. Yes, I would start with uh, simple shapes, like yep. circle, plus, square, and triangle. That's my name. Yes. R -E -E and then if you know your kid's already doing um, letters, like in their name, you can do letters on a bigger bag. And these are for tracing. They can simply just use their pointer finger and just feel how the shaving cream feels against their finger and trace the top. Oh, they can use a crayon or what shows up best is a marker yep, it marker. won't stay so it'll erase off come on right here bud okay. so go ahead and trace and this is different than a paper because you have the feedback from the shaving cream underneath so it makes it a little bit more fun for them Good. Good job. Yep, so he traced it. Things like that. Um, yeah, and again, with their names, this is going to be backwards because the way my camera is. But when you do the letters of their name, you can also put a box around the letters. So the ones that have some, yep, some visual motor issues, it kind of gives them an idea of where their target is. Yeah. And then if they need another surface, um, that's not doing it for them. You can just find different things around the house, like this came with our kiwis in it, like the little uh, containers. Some of them come with meats, but I wouldn't use those just because, you know, they could have some yuck in it. Um, they can write on that. Go ahead. Do you want to do like a triangle? Go ahead. I'm going to do a circle. A circle because it's the easiest. Yeah, but I Good job. A circle. And then I'm going to color just... So this is another one that has like a texture uh, to it. So it gives that extra feedback to some of the kids who write with light pressure. Good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're going to move on, bud. Okay. And then another thing, if you guys just have boxes, if you've ordered anything and they're laying around, boxes are a lot of fun for the kids to decorate, uh, build things with. But another thing is it helps. Like I was building. Yep, helps get their writing up on a vertical surface, um, which is going to help those kids that have trouble grasping the pencil. It helps get their wrists in the position they need. So go ahead. So they could just decorate it. Um, you could encourage them drawing shapes. When you're helping them with shapes so that they're not just scribbling, I would grab a marker and demonstrate what it looks like so they can see. Um, if your kiddo doesn't really like to watch what you're doing or has a hard time and is distracted, you could help take their hand and just guide their hand yourself to do whatever, circle, plus sign, square, triangle. Good job. And then also, if you guys just wanna take shaving cream, you can put some on the table. You can play with it, of course. Um, I would let your kids kind of touch it at first. Some of your kiddos absolutely hate this, um, but I'm sure some of you already know that. Some of them love it. Um, so let them play with it, touch it, get it on their hands. And then if they're tolerating it, you can have them isolate their pointer finger, spread it around. Just do that. And then once you isolate their pointer finger, I would try to, again, encourage drawing shapes the letters in their name, um, whatever level they're on. And if any of you have questions, please email me. I can let you know uh, exactly what to target with your kiddos if you don't know if they're still on pre-writing shapes um, or the letters in their name or the different letters of the alphabet. Good job. And then last but not least, um, with grasps. So some kids you'll see are still trying to hold it like this. In their fist and they use their arm to move to color to draw um, you really want to encourage them to hold it in their fingers so I usually say pinch it use your pinchers pinch it and I'll do hand over hand to help them um, you know some of your kiddos are pretty fast they're not going to tolerate that so what I do is I just simply break the crayon into two pieces so now we have a small piece and this is harder to fist so it makes them hold it in their fingertips. Um, it's just a way to help naturally promote them to move it to their fingertips and get it out of their palm. Can, can you help me with the sling? 
Yeah, so I could Thanks. help you with that. that. What did Ashley do? He likes the shaving cream. I like it so you much. You got a butt? Mm -hmm. Again, if you guys have any questions, please email me. Um, I can ask the teachers to send out my email along with this video so that you have it. I'll be happy to respond. Uh, we'll probably do some more videos. Maybe next time we'll address things oh, like, one. like cutting. We didn't forget anything. It's just his little monster truck I brought in case he needed to play with something. Um, yes, go ahead and play with it in the shaving cream and make a mess. So I hope everyone's doing okay. I will talk with you soon. Say bye. Bye.